We are currently reading through the book of Matthew as a family. Every night we read a chapter, split between the three of us, three verses each, and then the next one reads. And we're in Matthew chapter 21 last night, and the Lord showed me something, and I thought, you know, I really need to talk about this because it's very relevant to what's going on today. Um, Matthew chapter 21, verse 37 through 42, I'm going to read it here in a minute, but uh, the Jews of today, the especially the the mingled ones, the miry clay that the Bible identifies that are in the fifth kingdom with Rome, Rome and the miry clay working together, iron and miry clay, the fifth kingdom in the book of Daniel. Those people, they're trying to create a world kingdom, a Jewish utopia without Jesus Christ. That's what they're trying to do. And uh, right now you have Donald Trump um, who converted to Judaism years ago and his children are converts to Judaism. They wear the red Kabbalah bracelets and all the other stuff um, over at Stranger Than Fiction. You can watch his video on it showing the proof of all of that I'm talking about. I'm going to be bringing out some more information on the thing of Donald Trump and his connections to the Jewish people. And it's not, well, we're supposed to love the Jewish people. We're supposed to pray for the peace of Israel and whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about the people that put Jesus to death. The people who want to build a kingdom without Jesus Christ, and they want to take over America. The Jews have every right to the land of Israel. They do, and I'll defend their right to the land of Israel. But they don't have a right to be here in America. During the diaspora years where they were scattered throughout the nations, okay, that's one thing, but they didn't have a nation to go back to. They do now. The Jews have a nation that they can go back to right now, and they need to go back to that nation. All right, if you're Jewish out there, you're here in America, go back to Israel. I'm not saying that because I hate you. I'm saying that because I love you, and I want you to be in line with the scriptures. All right, very important. But Matthew chapter 21, let me read here verse 37 through 42. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. Uh, God the Father sending his son, in other words. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come and let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. The thousand-year kingdom, the millennial kingdom, is Jesus' inheritance. It's promised to the Son. Read Psalm 2 if you want to see the proof of that. Okay, um, verse um, 39. And they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord thereof, therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Um, a lot of very deep things I'm not going to get into there. Uh, really interesting things, how the Freemas Freemasons will pervert what's written about there in um, verse 42. Uh, they counterfeit things. That's the way the devil does things. But um, very interesting. They see the son and they say, let's kill him. Let's put him to death. Let's work along with Rome. Let's say we have no king but Caesar. We want to kill our Messiah. Why? Because we want to bring in the kingdom. We want to make all the money. We don't want it to be this agrarian thing and people growing crops and whatever else and all the pagan idols are cut off and it's not this materialistic system that the uh, mingled people you didn't love so much. Um, and there's no Hollywood, there's no rock music, there's no all the other stuff that they get themselves involved in. And there's no sexual perversion, it's not allowed. Oh, we don't want that kingdom. We're going to bring in our own kingdom after our own likeness and after our own what we want. Um, that's the whole issue here. Um, and you have to understand that. As a Bible-believing Christian, you have to understand that the Jews are your enemy, according to the Gospel. Um, the Jews right now in this country... They want to set up a Jewish kingdom with Donald Trump. And Kamala Harris, you know, she's also being controlled by them. Um, that's why they're, uh, there's all this stuff now with whenever they address, you know, Congress or whatever. They're flying, you know, the Israeli flag because they're trying to show that we have taken over this country. Um, they've always been there. They've been here in America for many hundreds of years. Um, but now they're starting to push things further where they can just openly come out and say... Um, we're going to not only have the war with pushing the Palestinians out of Gaza, 
but we're also going to expand and we're going to be going after Iran and Libya or uh, Lebanon, I guess, and um, what's the other one? Turkey. Um, and that's what they want to do. And we have to stop that. We have to, as Christians, we have to say, no, we're not for that. I support the Jews and I support Israel, but I do not support this wicked thing that they're doing, the politics of it. And you get the miry clay that's there, and I do believe that there are pure uh, Jewish people that can trace their lineage back to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. They didn't mingle their seed down through the years, but then there's those that did mingle, and they mingled for power purposes, marrying right, uh, buying titles of preferment, getting into the banking system, all the things that they do. And you can't just blanket statement, the, the Jews are evil, and the Jews do this, and the Jews do that, because that's not fair. There are Jews that are not involved. And that's the problem with uh, what happened there with the Holocaust. Um, I do believe that the Holocaust was real. They might have changed the numbers a little bit, but it's real. Okay, I don't deny that for one minute. But what they did is, oh, we're going to go after certain Jews and leave other ones alone. And if you study it, they were actually mingled Jews in the Nazi hierarchy. Um, kind of an interesting thing there. But that's the way that they do this. They burn the lower downs, and then the higher ups, well, they can just mingle in with different whatever power positions and, and things. It's wickedness. And what's it all about? They're trying to bring in their own kingdom. And the Noahide laws, which I did a study on recently, it's that's their system that they're going to use. It's going to be you're either with us or you're with the terrorists. You're, you're either a Jew, a Noahide, or you're just an infidel, and we're going to destroy you. Um, we have to fight against that. Don't get lulled into this thing of we can't speak against the Jews, whatever. We're supposed to raise up our voice like a trumpet and show the Jewish people their sin. Um, I am part of God's body, okay? I am one with Jesus Christ. Um, you know, the Lord is in me. The Holy Spirit of God indwells my body. Uh, I am born again. I'm a born again Christian. So I have a higher connection to God than any Jew out there that's a Christ rejecting Jew. If you're saved, well, then we're all one in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. But if you're lost, um, you're not some kind of special thing that I'm not or whatever, and that you have the right to kind of come to power and tell me what to do and tell me I can't say the name of Jesus. Huh, not happening. I will say the name of Jesus. I will proclaim the name of Jesus, and you aren't going to stop me out there. So, um, But I'll be bringing out some more proof here, some things people have been sending me, some really wild stuff. Um, and again, Think about what we're heading towards, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, the Jewish people, both the mingled and the real ones, um, those two groups of people, they are involved in a lot of sin right now. And the biggest sin is that they've rejected Jesus Christ as their Messiah. And so I'm, go I'm not I'm going to obsess over everything's the Jews' fault or whatever. I've never been into that movement. I can't stand that stuff. But I am going to expose when they're doing wrong. And right now, what they want to set up here in America, under Donald Trump especially, is a very strong pro-Israel, um, and it's going to start the persecution of Christians. And we all have to fight against that. And if you're a Roman Catholic, let me just say this. Um, the Jews are very much in control. Not, I, sh I shouldn't say in control, but they're very, they're working towards total control of the Vatican. Um, the Jesuit order was founded by a Converso, Ignatius de Loyola, and um, people say Ignatius, of course. I pronounce it the true Spanish way, Ignatius. Another issue. Try to be precise in what I'm saying. But the Jesuits were never supposed to be in a position of authority as far as a pope. Well, you have two Jesuit popes right now. You have the black pope, Arturo Sosa, I think his name is. I like to call him arterial sclerosis. Um, but, um, and then you have Pope Francis. Both are Jesuits. Why do you think your uh, church is falling apart? Why do you think Francis is doing a whole bunch of really radical things? A lot of promotion of perverts and everything else. Why? Because he's part of that system. The Jesuits that were founded by a mingled Jew. And they've been very much working with Hollywood and working with all this other stuff down through the centuries. You can see the proof. All right. Um, so... Just wanted to tie that scripture in that we read last night. I thought that was an important thing to do. But uh, look for some future studies. And uh, thank you very much for watching.